Yeah, I'm just still blown away by you guys in high school hearing about this. <laughs> I was such a noob. I think, I think like, especially with our career and like wanting to become a librarian, it's definitely not something that's going to fall into your lap. It does require a lot of work from the beginning. And I guess as I'm learning more day, day after day, like it takes a lot of work while you're in it. Um, it's a lot of tedious tasks. And I mean, I like after interlock and like, I like, wrote emails just total cold calls to like local symphonies like asking about it like i was never like hank hank skolnick wasn't just like handing me information like yes he gave me the molo website he gave me stuff like that but it it was really something that i had to actively pursue um it was an interest and i i took a lot of time to consciously uh go towards it and i i value a lot of the work I've put into it and value where I am in, in the field right now at my age because of how much work I've put into it. The fact that it wasn't all just sitting there for me to take it like a performance degree just sitting at any college. Like I've had to do a lot of things that are out of the norm for uh, college students to, to get into this field and it's really rewarding so far. I, I really like how, how the work has, has led to the outcome. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I am today without you know all of my trials and tribulations. Um, and um, oh man, I had a thought on this, and now I don't know where I'm going. Um, but yeah, I think it is. I mean, it's it's so important. Um, and I think this is actually another way. You know, we we are all musicians, um, and when we work for our organizations, you know, we're not always seen as as musicians. So I think this is just like another way that, you know, it's in the background, right? We had all this self promotion and learning and teaching ourselves things. It's all behind the scenes. Um, so I, I guess I just feel like you know, it's another way. Like we are like musicians. We're practicing our craft. We're making ourselves better. Or making the connections with you know the teachers and, and the mentors that we want to but none of it's <laughs> none of it's out in the open you can't you can't hear any of it um so we are musicians <laughs> you know just like as many in our ensembles um and i think it's important not to lose lose that um because it keeps us connected to our work to our organizations to our musicians to our you know, faculty and staff, um, you know, it's the thing that, that keeps us all together. So don't, don't ever lose that, I think is my uh, nugget of advice here is don't lose your musicianship um, and that drive that, you know, you have as a musician to, well, I want to learn this piece. It's like, well, it's not a piece. <laughs> it's how to properly draw an eighth note rest or what, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's something like that. Um, so don't lose that. Um, and I guess I find that in working with, uh, you know, younger musicians and younger librarians is that uh, that drive, the ability to ask the, the hard questions, the good questions, the deep questions, um, you know, that keeps me going because then it pushes my boundaries of like, okay, well, I have to stay on top of my stuff to be able to remain relevant with these training orchestras. Um, and it's fun because <laughs> they're the future, you know, like those are going to be our musicians in, you know, 10, 20, whatever years. So we have to know what they want. Um, it's just, it's cool. I think for me, like, like definitely, I think the fact that when we're talking about this, like most of the like library centric things happen at the master's level. I feel like that's one of the things that hinders like, just the library field from being more well known, like in like publicity wise, I wish that there would just be more information out and like the accessibility factor is like kind of a problem, I think. And I, I remember Blake said something about there being like maybe a course on it, some random school somewhere, but even at like the school I'm going to right now, which is like a very performance driven conservatory, like nobody really knows about it. and. I feel like if there were at least like maybe like course electives available on the course, like at the undergrad level, it would just help so much more. Like, cause I know like my, like in my, my colleagues, there are lots of performers that are interested in it. And like, 
want to know more about it, but they don't know where to go. And I think the fact that like the field is so secluded in a way is both a good thing and a bad thing because you can reach out to people that are close to you. But I feel like the seclusion factor kind of throws people on like the outside off from actually getting into it and like maybe pursuing more information about it. So I would like, I, I like at my level, like I would really have appreciated there being like a course here and it would, it would have made like teach like training new employees like as students so much more easier and they could get to hands-on work more quickly and it would have just been a lot more efficient i feel like if there was like a training course like especially for us like wind players who don't know about boeings and stuff like that's i think that's a really really like pivotal aspect and like just understanding the career a lot better and yeah i think that would help a lot with just like expanding the field more like for the future just gave a perfect segue. <laughs> to the next I know, segue. right? But also, I agree. I agree. So go ahead, go, Blake. Go, go, go. Um, like Nick and Julia, like you both knew you wanted to do this in high school, and that's great. And that's like, but like it's never too late. Like I didn't realize that I wanted to be an orchestra librarian, or I could be an orchestra librarian, like professionally, until I had had the work study job. Like I was was an orchestra librarian for two years, and then I realized, <laughs> wait, is this a real career I can do? Like, oh God, I should look into this. And then, at the end of my senior year of college, I was like, wait, you can be a summer librarian at a festival? This exists? Because I was like, festivals only performance majors do festivals. I'm not gonna look at festivals. Um, and like Joe, you said you didn't really like get into this until you were in your master's like you don't have to know you want to do this in high school to like start your journey so like if you're watching this and you're like oh god these people are so far ahead of me like it's never too late we're not that far ahead of you <laughs> <laughs> we're all just like learning along in the process yeah. you know like we're all just kind of here doing this thing uh some of us you know there's like themes and variations on how we do things um, but it's all the same work, you know, it's, it's all the same work. Um, and I just think there should be more collaboration, more communication because we are all doing the same thing. Um, there's no reason why, you know, multiple sets of Firebird need to have errata done them on a season. Like, can we just share these resources? You know, it would save so much time and then we could go out in the sun more. Um, yeah, I, I agree. 